yeah, I'm too tired to be angry. <laughs> I've had ME for 30 years, and uh, you know, it's uh, I'm, my ME is nearly middle aged now, and uh, a lot of people with long term ME, you, the big things are are coping and accepting. You know, I mean, it's we can't be angry all the time because we'll just get exhausted. But that doesn't mean to say that you can't act. It's actually, you have got a clearer mind when you're not angry, and, and, and this is what happens in a very sober way. We can act, and th this is fantastic. The, you know, for the first 10 years of me having Emmy in the 90s, we had nothing like this. We had a few groups, uh, Emmy meetup groups. Do you remember those? Well, they, maybe they, I hope they still exist, actually. And uh, we had one in the West End of Glasgow, but um, I think things feel pretty positive just now. I would like to accentuate the positive. Did anybody see that article in The Guardian yesterday about the test in Australia? Of course, I'm just back from there, so uh, I wish that popped in to see them. I was right there, but uh, um, you know, there's, there's a, they're close to get, it seems like there's tests all the time where there's close to being a scientific uh, diagnosis. Um, they said specific defects at the cellular level from testing everybody, everyone who had the symptoms of ME, they, they, they found defects at that level, you know, so we need to get this going in the UK, we need to get this going in Scotland. If it's there to be found, we need to see it. I've waited my whole life, adult, my whole adult life to have a, a positive diagnosis, you know, something on a bit of paper, and I tell you, I, the day that they find it, I will tattoo specific defect at the cellular <laughs> level on my chest, <laughs> so that when anybody asks me, so what is this ME? What's wrong with you? You know, if anybody asks me, I'm going to rip my shirt open and they'll see it. I've got a specific defect, pal. <laughs> because it's good, it's difficult. It's difficult all the time just being anonymous. We've been in the dark too long. Uh, you know, back in the day, and you'll appreciate this as well, that we, we didn't talk about ME. We were swept under the carpet. We, it, it wasn't worth our energy talking about it. We just kept to the other people that had ME as well, because it was just, it was too much effort and, and people didn't really seem to understand and it wasn't going anywhere. Do you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pinch a, an idea from C.S. Lewis. Um, he had it in a different context. At some point, you know, this business of not being understood or being believed. It seems to me that people with ME, we could be classed as mad people. We could be classed as liars, or we could be telling the truth. And what, you know, I'm, I'm looking at you, you're not liars, you're not mad. We're telling the truth. We need to be believed. I would like to second what Jerry was saying about the seeing a specialist. I'm interested in anybody ever seen an ME specialist. I've just been crapped on by a seagull. <laughs> I, am going, I am going to take that as a sign of very good luck. I'm going to take that as a sign. Maybe that was an ME specialist flying overhead, <laughs> protesting. I'm here. I was just about to say, I wouldn't know an ME specialist if he, stood up, if he or she stood up my soup. That's probably what I did. But, uh, but joking aside, you know, it is a wee bit ridiculous that there isn't funding and, that, you know, there hasn't. Well, why isn't there a hero? Why isn't there a Scottish medical hero come forward? I quite often, you know, when I'm in hospital or wherever, when seeing a new doctor or something, you know, and I know that you're know, doing the usual blood test and the usual this and that, and nothing ever shows up. And I say, when are you going to get to the bottom of this? Why are you going to cure this thing? Be a hero, you know? Make your name. I mean, I, I know it is a tricky one. We have to be, in a sense, we have to be patient with the doctors and the, the med, medical community because it's it's difficult. There's so I mean, we do because it, I mean, you know, there's such a broad range of symptoms. It does fox them. They do tend to. But I think we've got to work with them.
we're dying to work with them, aren't we? We're dying to work with the Scottish government. We work, we'll, we'll talk to anybody. We'll work with anybody. We're so glad that we have an MP here today that's going to be taking us back to Hollywood or to Westminster. You know, it does feel that we've, we're maybe turning a corner, at least in the, in the way that this thing is perceived. The other thing I think um, would just be if, um, which is so important, never mind the, the, the you know, specialists in research, but it's just walking into a GP's office for the first time, you know, if you have ME, it's so important if you have the symptoms, it's so important that you get guidance, good guidance. If you have people there to tell you what's going to happen, if you get, there's people there to tell you that there's a pathway at least. There needs to be a, a pathway when you first come in to you know, the doctor's office. Um, because there isn't just now, we're just, we're just left out in the dark. And, uh, and we, you know, the, obviously there's online groups and that's terrific, but um, you know, that's the other thing that we're really hoping for, that, that uh, the medical community will uh, maybe have different training for, for GPs so we can get people because it's half the battle. It's half the battle is understanding what's going on because if you can understand your condition, you can fight it. But uh, so thanks uh, for coming out. Thanks to the beautiful musicians. Looking forward to hearing them again. Thank you very much.